Hello guys, so welcome back to another vlog. And so for today's video, we will be talking about the automatic and manual synchronization of our diesel generators. And on the last part of this video, I was able to do a tutorial on the engineers on board and as well as on the crew so that in case the power management system fails, then they can do the paralleling of generator in manual operation. And I let the or we let the fourth engineer to do the manual paralleling and he was able to do it. So better watch it so that you can see the actual synchronization or the actual manual synchronization so see you guys so we have four diesel generators on board all of them are rated around 2200 kilowatts and these are being maintained by our third engineer on board in this vessel we call them as the auxiliary engines we only call them as the auxiliary engines because our main engine is our propulsion engine which can generate around 19,000 kilowatts. This video is one of the most requested video from you guys. So I was able to have the time to do this and I hope you will learn from this video. Modern vessels are mostly equipped with this power management system into their alarm and monitoring system computers. In this system, we can have a remote monitoring of our generators about their powers, the current that it draws, and the voltage that it generates. This PMS system will do all the job for the synchronization and for the load sharing of each generators so right now we will be putting the DG number 2 on board so we'll just need to click the start button and then the generator of course will start automatically after a few seconds of starting and the generator is in idle run then it will go to its automatic synchronization the PMS system will do the automatic checking of all the parameters if the generator can be synced automatically. As you can see, we just click the start button and then the generator automatically do the synchronization by itself. And then we just need to wait for it until the generator will be put on load. After that, the load sharing will be automatically done and it will balance all the powers in each and every running generators by the way since the power management system is incorporated to the alarm and monitoring system this only means that you also have alarm monitoring for the safety system of your generators like the jacket fresh water cooling the lube oil pressures the fuel oil temperatures and so many important alarms Disconnecting of the generators will also be done automatically in this power management system. Before the ACB will open, the PMS will do the automatic offloading of powers and will be distributed to the other running generators. Once the load is offloaded, then the generator will automatically do the cooldown process. Now let's talk about the manual synchronization. In case the power management system fails to do the synchronization automatically, then we need to do the manual paralleling of generators. Before we go there, let me explain to you first the generator synchro panel. The topmost are the kilowatt meters for all the generators including the shaft generator. And then these two meters are the 
voltmeter and frequency meter for the incoming generator. And then these two meters are for the voltage and frequency of the running generators or the bus bar. So the first thing that we need to do is to take the control from the engine control console and put it onto the main switch board. We just need to flip this switch and then the control will be transferred to the main switch board. Right now, the running generators are the number 3 and number 4 and the number 2 will be the one that we will put on board. So we started the generator locally and then I'm going to show you the parameters that we need to have before we can parallel the generator. So you need three conditions before you can parallel the generator. You need to have equal phase sequence, voltage, and frequency. For the phase sequence, we don't need to change anything of it as this is already pre-planned on each and every generators. Meaning that during the build of these generators, they were all matched together to have the same phase sequence. Next is that we need to match whatever the frequency and voltage of the running generator on the incoming generator. So right now the generator number 2 is in idle run and in order for us to monitor the voltage, we need to flip the voltage frequency switch and then we can see how much the voltage we have onto the generator number 2. As you can see, we have almost equal frequency and voltage on the incoming and the running generator. But just in case you have a difference in the voltage, you can always change it or adjust it on the automatic voltage regulator or the AVR. Now, the next thing to check is the synchroscope. So we will flip the switch to generator number 2. As you can see, the synchroscope meter is rotating in counterclockwise direction. This only means that the incoming generator frequency is slower than the one on the bus bar. So we need to raise the frequency by altering or manipulating the governor. As per my previous experiences, if the running generator is around 60 Hz of frequency, the incoming generator I set it around 60.1 or 60.2 Hertz. Then, once the synchroscope is rotating in clockwise direction, at 11 o'clock position on the synchroscope meter, we can now close the circuit breaker. Actually, the proper way is at around 12 o'clock position on the synchroscope, but due to the delay on our hands and on the timing on the synchroscope, better to do it at 11 o'clock so that we can match the or sync the voltage and frequency during synchronization. Now, the generator number 2 is in the board. After that, we need to switch off the synchroscope. And the last part that we need to do is to do the load sharing. This is to distribute the amount of load on our generators. We will lower the load on the running generator and the one on the incoming we will raise and until they will become equal. So the last part on this video is I did a tutorial on the crew, especially on the engineers, so that they know how to do the manual synchronization of the generators. So that in case that they are on duty and the PMS fail, then they can do the manual synchronization of the generators. So here is the actual manual synchronization. It's a little bit noisy because we are near to the main engine. So bear with it, but you can see that our fourth engineer was able to do the manual synchronization and this is his first time and he was able to do it on his first try.
So that's it guys, I hope you learned something from this video. This is your Lucky Jake and see you 